Welcome back folks, MTG Joe here. I'm still pretty sick and my voice can't keep up to do the weekly meta updates this week. I tried to record two or three times and just got a, into a coughing fit. So I'm gonna have to put those on hold till next week. Uh, we'll be back with all the latest meta game. Today I'm gonna be doing a gameplay video of a deck from Maffy, uh, DJ Maffy on Twitter. Uh, a lot of cool historic decks that they put together. Um, Gonna do it with as much commentary as I can, but there might be a little bit more mutes, muted like commentary points than what I'm usually up to. Uh, I'm just trying to get out content while still preserving whatever little voice I have left. Uh, but this is a wild one today, and we're gonna. I crafted Tree of Perdition, so Matthew, when you see this, you owe me three rare wild cards. Um, but it is kind of a value mid range. Uh, Agatha's Cauldron, which is like the hottest thing to be doing in every format right now. So all your creatures get all the, your other activated creatures' abilities for whatever's underneath Agatha's Cauldron. So kind of the core of the idea is you make a creature have Tree of Perdition's ability, but that creature be something like a Bowmaster or like an Orc Token that's a one toughness, something with one or two toughness. You activate it, you make your opponent's life total one or two, and then you either ping him to death with Bowmaster, attack him for the last little bit of lethal, or you also have like Death Raid Shaman to exile a card and make them lose two life as well. Um, so you kind of have that plan. You have Fauna Shaman as well as Fleeting Spirits. Fauna Shaman helps you find your creatures thrown in the graveyards. Fleeting Spirit also helps you throw them in there. Uh, Giver of Runes for protection. Um, and then like Haywire Might is a utility card, Giant Killer is a utility card. Assemble the team helps you find your cauldrons. Recommission lets you reanimate your cauldron as well. Tyvar to mill over. Ranger Captain of Eos also for some value as well. So we're going to try some best of one. Uh, they had played it in best of three, but don't really want to play sideboard games right now with the way I'm feeling. Um, so we will give it a shot, see how this plays out. And uh, hopefully I didn't just spend a bunch of wild cards on Tree of Perdition. So more to follow as we kind of get into the games. Hoping everyone is doing well. Like I said, I tried to record some like game or uh, best decks. I got maybe five minutes into the standard best of three one and then immediately went into coughing fits. So it's day six, hoping that we get past this. Okay, so we, we just need the cauldron kind of going. Um, but I think this hand's reasonable. Opponent goes first. We'll keep. We have the option for Fatal Push. We can go Fauna Shaman. Fauna Shaman does require green mana. So we're like a cauldron away from kind of comboing, quote unquote. I wonder if you can use Jengantha in this deck. No, Ranger Captain does not allow you to. Okay, so this could be Yogmoth. Jund. Okay, well. That's largely okay. That's what we want to be doing. So we have Tyvar here, which is a nice follow up. We don't really have one creature in particular actually if we were to find something we'd probably want the death right shaman we can exile the croxa out of their yard so, Perseus is a bit annoying here I have a choice here so i can get death right I think we hold this for the following turn. So we'll get rid of Tree of Perdition here. Let's go get... Actually, Bowmaster probably makes the most sense.
Uh, they already know we have this, so we'll just use it now. Just need to find Cauldron. Quite annoying. So, let's go Tyvar. Let's make it a fight to remember. We're in this together. That's annoying because we can't activate the green ability from it because we don't have the green land. So our mana base is kind of screwing us over here. But I think, because they're going to Crocs us this turn, so we do want to keep this giant killer in hand, I think. We'll pass the turn. We had the green mana, we could have just eaten Croxa. So this is actually pretty good because now I get to do this. Actually, I should have eaten their land. So, minor misstep there. So, what I can do here. We'll eat Croxa and tap Shaman. Ready for round two. Now I have the choice. I can play the land to give me the option to target another green source. That does give me the option for Giant Killer as well. This will deal with a Shieldred if they have it. So I think we shock in here and just pass the turn. We could Bowmaster in response. We just need Cauldron. We get Cauldron, we get going. So they're going to make a sack here. I think we're interested at this point in our life total. This also stops the next... Oh, that was my mistake. I didn't realize this hit Planeswalkers. So another courtyard's not great. I'm gonna take the chance to draw a card here. Okay, so assemble the team's good for actually because if I hit cauldron, I can eat the land and then cast it that way. So let's try to find cauldron here. And then We exile the land. Exile Tree of Perdition. Classic 216 Bowmaster. So now they have to kill both our threats. Got him. An 
not too shabby. They're out here playing Crucius and Jarsil. Three of Perdition, real MVP. I think because we like we need to hit a lion, but I think it's largely fine. Is kind of annoying. We really want to land here. Green source one time. So I'm actually gonna cycle the land I think. More than anything, I think we need to hit a green source. Jeez. Cheese Louise. But oh, we're just never hitting spells at this point. Our lands. Sneak this in. They will gain some life, but we at least get to deal with that. This Heliod's gonna be a bit scary. Fatal push wouldn't be too bad. How about another cauldron? I think we're just getting uh, bad luck. 13 cards, 3 lands, no green sources. So... Do this. I got a I got a different way to do this now. So Fleeting Spirit comes into play, they gain a bunch of life. Comes to play tapped, it's fine, I have the ability to discard a card. They go to combat step. I discard Tree of Perdition, block, and then have it become that, switch their life totals.
here. Let's just get this going. I should have kept this at one. So we block here. Oh no, I don't have the mana! No! Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, I forgot Valkyrie. Okay, we would have won actually. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, we just are legitimately not finding a single land. Can't do anything if the deck's not finding us lands. If it wasn't for Valkyrie, we basically put their life total to two. And then um, we untap attack and we win. So that's just more on us never finding a land. 15 cards deep. Lines and spells. Freaking kidding me. Best of one. Play line mine. Why not? I think we just got a force like that. We probably lost this game. Like we're a graveyard deck and they turn zero at us. Caldrino is pretty sweet at least. Just try with fair beat down plan. we cycle at this point see what we find tree legitimately does nothing in this matchup Sweeper. So, bit of a misplay here. I should have left the Thoughtseize in their yard. Because I 
I need to eat at their graveyard. Now, they could go shield regain, but then it's active and active player. So I th think we just go like this. I take a damage here, and then I just go fetch Bowmaster. Let's see if they know about the timing. Yeah. So, how it works. I get priority. And then they die. So they needed to activate it on my turn. So the sequencing doesn't really matter there. But beat a ley line. Beat a ley line. Beat Bajuku Bogs. Beat a Thought Seize. Classic Fauna Shaman beatdown plan. Just as we drew it up. <clears throat> I don't think you really want the Nykthos line in that deck. Unless they're playing like Underworld Dreams and stuff. When it goes first, I think we keep. We got good interaction. Probably goblins or maybe mid range. Throwing second cauldron is kind of bad here. Bard class. <coughs> Excuse me. So annoying. Um, can't quite Halana and Alana. How many lions is this deck playing? 21. I think I want another lion. Probably play another Confluence. Play it over... Probably the recommission. Target deals damage. Do have priority, but the priority could be from Hajar. They could also have Baseju for this cauldron. So this lets us ramp. Jeez. Well, we're doing a good job of not finding lines again. Loving this for us. I 
I should have done this in response. But we get bigger now. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. Can win. So death right. I could do death right for the turn and then play the white mana. That gives me that as a second blocker. Play Fleeting Spirit, kind of get that. They found Bard Glass. But second bowmaster. I think we upgrade here. I think we can sneakily kill them here. Okay, so they did block there, that's fine. We go to our turn. Both this year. them lose the life I won't let you fall get bowmaster back ping him to death your go opponent all right that was a sweet one to end it on so we almost went 3-0 we just kind of got screwed in that game I would say the only thing I would probably want in this deck is one more additional land um, just to consistently hit. Um, could be variants, but sweet deck, all things considered. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great one, and stay safe out there.